the newborn child is a small human being with all its senses open, developed and receptive. Babies are born sentient, aware, knowing, feeling, loving, expecting a relationship. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is the particular piece that connects the mother's body to the baby's body, connects the mother's brain to the baby's brain. And now the mother's mind and the baby's mind start to develop social and emotional intelligence. But the body is the basis on which this builds. In this interaction, what then happens is that speech and language develop. Now my baby starts developing the ability to approach emotionally, to develop the capacity to love. The capacity to love is a reciprocal trust building between two people. And this trust, in fact, is required that I've got an inner security based on an outer relationship. The interesting thing about this skin-to-skin -skin contact uh, and, and what it does, it affects particular parts of the brain that have to do with your social and your emotional intelligence. You can get cognitive intelligence, IQ, without emotional and social intelligence. You can, certainly you can. So I don't want to say that there's a straight line effect. So the important thing to distinguish is that what you're doing at this first hours of life is ensuring your emotional and social intelligence. To get a good schooling outcome, you now have the best launch pad for a trajectory. From this best launch pad, you now want to make sure that you play lots of peekaboo with your baby, that you read stories, uh, that you carry, that you play with your baby. You are continuing the trajectory for good development. You haven't ensured it. And so it's not a straight line. It's not do this and that will happen. You've got to do all the pieces. And at each point, if you can make this trajectory the best one, then you will get that good outcome.